at the introductory level, allowing those students to struggle through it, whether it seems painful or not, is actually a very awesome experience. Because those students, they were sitting there and they were thinking through it, they were thinking through the process, and it was very difficult for them. They have never seen these concepts before. There was no foundation there. However, it was my responsibility to build a foundation. So I was trying to build a foundation. I'm not trying to build the building all in one day. I realized that you have to go back, but you have to allow the students to struggle through it. So once the foundation is built, it is solid. Oh, yeah. Because here it says two, and you're adding two, so there's four, and six. It's kind of hard to get the number by adding two, so it's eight here. And so 12, add you're adding two, it's 14. Here. Oh, no, never mind. That one didn't work, right? That conjecture didn't work, so you have to come up with something else. If I just tell you how to do it, what are you really gaining from it? You're learning an algorithm, but you're not understanding why. You're, you're, you're learning a procedure, but you're not understanding why we're doing it. So I think by allowing those students to work through it, they get the conceptual knowledge, not just the procedural knowledge. Because mathematics has gotten to a point now where we need to worry about learning the concept. Why are we doing what we're doing? How does this relate to what I'm going to do next? Not just learning the procedure. By me feeding them a procedure, they are not going to get the conceptual knowledge behind it, which I feel is going to be the foundation that they need to build from this point on.